do thank you all for joining us in this exciting time for Chatham Area Transit. How about you guys? Give it up for yourselves for coming out in this heat to celebrate with Chatham Area Transit. We do appreciate you. We're going to start um, our press conference with a welcome by our Cat Board Chairman, Mr. Dietrich Coley. Hello, and I welcome everybody here. I'm Dietrich Cody, the chairman of Chatham Mary Transit and board of directors. I welcome you and I ask our board members at this time to stand, please. Get recognized. All right, thank you. Today is an exciting day as we move forward with stage one of our smart grant initiatives. We believe this type of innovation, the micro transit project is vital and crucial to the residents of Chatham County. This micro transit innovation will be a game changer for public transportation in Chatham County by providing an on-demand curb-like service that builds upon the connectivity of our fixed route system. We acknowledge the work of our partners, that the work of our partners have put, in this, put us in this position to make this happen, including U.S. Senators John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock, and the support of our, co uh, our Congressman, Mr. Buddy Carter. We also note the U.S. Department of Transportation Senators that represent our Chatham County area, which is Chairman Chester Ellis. We have the, our city manager here, Mr. Van Johnson, our CAT Board of Directors, and our Executive Director and CEO, Ms. Faye DiMassimo, and CAT staff for their support that and hard work that made this happen today. We, thanks to Georgia Tech, Savannah State, ATU, and local 1324 professional operators and GDOT as we work together to make this awesome opportunity a reality. We also acknowledge our stakeholders, our community organizations, and our neighborhood association that's present today. It is always CAT's goal to provide reliable, safe, and sustainable transportation in Chatham County. I thank you, our riders, for trusting the cat to get you where you need and want to go daily. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today. Thank you, Chairman Cody. And we do want to correct that and Mayor Van Johnson Mayor Van. is here. <laughs> All right, so we're, next we're going to introduce our congressional delegation and u.s department of transportation official they will come up in this following order nicholas savas the regional outreach coordinator for office of senator john ossoff andrew young the field representative for office of senator Raphael warnock then followed by dr robert hampshire the deputy assistant for research and technology and chief science officer for the u.s dot so mr savas Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nick Savas, and I'm the Regional Outreach Coordinator for Senator John Ossoff here in Savannah and Coastal Georgia. I want to start off by thanking uh, Chatham Area Transit, Chatham County Chairman Ellis, Chatham County Commissioners, Mayor Van Johnson, City of Savannah Council members, Georgia Tech, Savannah State, and all those others who are here for having me today to celebrate this great news. On behalf of Senator Ossoff and our office, we want to again congratulate CAT Executive Director, CEO, Faye DeMassimo and her team for their vision and success in securing this grant. We also want to thank U.S. Department of Transportation Deputy Assistant Secretary Dr. Rick, Dr. Robert Hampshire and his team for being a part of this great day here in Savannah with all of us. Welcome to Savannah, sir. Senator Ossoff and our office work closely with CAT and their entire team to advocate for this grant award through the Department of Transportation. 
Through the bipartisan infrastructure law, Senator's office and Reverend Raphael Warnock helped deliver this grant to boost resources for Chatham Area Transit as it explores a new electric vehicle micro transit pro project. This would help people in Chatham County access a new affordable transportation option when getting to work, school, doctor's offices, and much more. Thank you again for having me and allowing me to celebrate this exciting day for the city of Savannah and Chatham County. Good afternoon all. My name is Andrew Young. I serve as a field rep for Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock. And we are excited today to celebrate not only with the people of Savannah and Chatham County on this great establishment, this great uh, beginning of this project, but also for the leaders and directors of Chatham Area uh, Transit. Uh, on behalf of the Senator, he acknowledges and commends our academicians, our local elected officials, our hard behind the scenes staff and employees and everyone who's helped and shall help make this grant and its implementation a success for the betterment of the people of not only Savannah and Chatham, but also as a pilot program, the lessons that will be learned here that benefits people all over Georgia and hopefully all over the country. This type of community effort led by visionary, extraordinary minds allows us all to be better and being better is always one of our goals and one of the senator's hopes that everything that we do helps uplift people, make people more accessible to things that make their lives better, and then together we make a more beloved community. So congratulations on behalf of Senator Warnock to all those both involved and affected by this great uh, leap forward with technology and service. Thank you very much. All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Robert Hampshire. I'm the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Research and Technology at the U.S. Department of Transportation, as well as the department's Chief Science Officer. It's just a fantastic to be here with you today. I wanna to personally congratulate Chatham Area Transit for receiving a SMART grant and development of a project will not just change the way that people move around the region, but also ensure a more robust and dynamic system, one that will better serve everybody. Indeed, you know, this project is important for transit innovation around the country. It's a model. And as our cities and regions we imagine what their systems look like, particularly after, as we're getting through COVID and people are changing their tr travel patterns, this project will really serve as a, a, a true model for others around the country. You all should be quite very proud of, of this project. I wanna thank specifically all the state and local leaders who supported this pro project, particularly uh, the labor uh, engagement and, and the workforce are critical aspects to what the Department of Transportation is doing. I wanna especially thank uh, Congressman Buddy Carter, uh, Mayor Van Johnson, uh, Chairman Ellis, and of course, from Dr. O uh, uh, Senator Ossoff's office, uh, Nico Sava, as well as uh, uh, Drew Young from uh, Senator Warnock's office. These two senators uh, uh, have been great supporters, particularly from the bipartisan infrastructure law. It's with their leadership that this program exists, that our country is moving forward in implementing the historic bipartisan infrastructure law. So you have two senators that are de delivering, and this is an example of that uh, with this project. I want to acknowledge the partnership with, of course, with Savannah State, which we know is an important institution here uh, uh, in the state and the region, together with colleagues at Georgia Tech. We at the department have worked over several years, many years with Georgia Tech. We know that they're one of the leaders uh, and certainly part of, we announced some tra university transportation centers programs of which Georgia Tech is in three separate consortiums so we work with Georgia Tech very closely and look forward to, to deepening our partnership with Savannah State. At the federal level, USDOT is very committed to not just building the transportation system of the future, but building infrastructure that will serve and sustain our country for generations. Just like Secretary Buttigieg, I myself, we've been on the road visiting many of the bipartisan infrastructure law programs and projects from around the country 
from building roads and bridges, replacing lead pipes, uh, all the way through in providing clean water. We're helping communities make historic investments in good paying jobs that you can raise a family on. And many of these jobs don't even require a four year degree. We're helping to build an economy from the bottom up and middle out, and not just top down. You know, we're ensuring that communities have, for the, who have been left out or no longer left out, but part of the process, connected to opportunity and have their fair share of economic opportunities from these bipartisan infrastructure law investments. So with that, this is the beginning. Uh, I see as a you know, very successful project. I'll proclaim that now. We're gonna claim that ahead of time as a successful project that will be a, a model to this nation, but serve the people here locally. And you have terrific leadership and partners uh, to make that happen. So uh, it's just an honor to be here and, and thank you all and look forward to getting this project started. Thank you. All right, thank you to all of our congressional delegations and U.S. DOT officials for your support. Next, we will hear from our local delegation. Our mayor, Mayor Van Johnson, will come now to say a few words. Thank you and good afternoon. Uh, first, before I begin, I want to recognize uh, members of city council that are here. I see Alderman Nick Palumbo from the 4th District. I see uh, all the women from the 5th District, Dr. Stella Shabazz, and I see our all the women from the 3rd District, all the women Linda Wilder Bryan. Um, I, said, I had the opportunity to sit down to, with our former city manager, Stephanie Cutter, and Stephanie said, well, Mr. Mayor, what are you going to say? And I said, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize um, our 65th mayor of our city in the person of Edna Branch Jackson. And Madam Mayor, Madam Representative, she'll always be Madam Mayor to me. The second thing was I said, I don't know what much I'm going to say, but I figured I need to say something quick. So I wanted to reflect on the things that I do know. And they're really plain and simple. The first thing I know is that we live in the greatest city on earth. I know that. And I believe, I know that we have the greatest senators in the country. Senator John Ossoff and Savannah's own, Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock. I know that when you send people to advocate for you, you expect for them to deliver for you. And they have delivered in a huge way. I know that the historic bipartisan infrastructure law is changing lives around the country and is changing lives here in Savannah. I know that Savannah State, you can get anywhere from here. I know that. But I also know that Savannah will never be all that it can be till everybody can get everywhere in Savannah. Until you can get there and it's available, until it's accessible, and until it's equitable. And that is what we're celebrating today. I also know that electric vehicles are the thing, Alderman Palumbo and fits real good into our 100% Savannah initiative. And so while we're here doing all this celebrating, we're celebrating our friends from the U.S. Department of Transportation. We're celebrating the greatest transportation arm in the world, Chatham Area Transit. We're celebrating their historic and intentional means to be everywhere and to be everything to everybody in this community. And that public transportation is not a curse, public transportation is a blessing. And so on behalf of the city of Savannah, we're happy today for what this means and what this represents for our community. It means that people can get 
to doctor's offices. It means they can get to health appointments. It means that people have independence. It means that people get to retain their dignity. And for us, that is always a good thing. So I'm sorry I didn't have much to say, but I can only talk about the things that I do know. It's a beautiful day in Savannah, and this is a beautiful blessing. 1.2 um, $1 million coming our way that we can count on and that change lives. Thank you so much, Mr. Masio, Chairman Cody. Thank you so much for your leadership, CAT board. We look forward to more of these to come. Thank you, Mayor Johnson. Now I will introduce our partnering agencies and they will come up and speak as follows. First would be Ms. Deborah Lamb, the founding executive director of Partnership for Inclusive Innovations and representing Georgia Tech, followed by, actually, I'm sorry, it would just be Ms. Deborah. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Georgia Tech and the Partnership for Inclusive Innovation, we are so thrilled and delighted and honored to be here. Um, Georgia Tech, as you know, is a public university serving the great state of Georgia, and Savannah is definitely our home and we are excited to really implement this innovative research led by Dr. Pascal Van Hendrick. What's great about this research is that it's been tried and tested and proven in many other cities, and each time we have done it, it's gotten better. And what's great about doing the work here in Savannah is through phase leadership and CAT, it's gonna be integrated into the master plan to support CAT's vision. This is gonna be extremely novel, innovative, and the blueprint for the future of transit. And as Mayor Johnson said, it's a blueprint because it's electric, it's multimodal, it addresses last mile, first mile, and it will not do that. Um, but it also uh, is data-driven. Um, data-driven meaning that it's very much about integrating data-driven performance into increasing efficiency, performance, and the quality of transit for everyone. Um, what is also really great about this research project and this proposal is that it's gonna engage in the community. So not only is it gonna be a blueprint for the future of transit and the future of innovative transit research, it's gonna be a way to empower communities through public transit. So each time you think about how communities can safely, efficiently, effectively get to their work, their education, their schools, access healthcare, go to the grocery store, this is how public transit can empower them. And because of that, we at Georgia Tech and the Partnership for Inclusive Innovation are thrilled to be working with Faye and the rest of this community and team um, to be advancing research and empowering the community. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Deborah. We are so excited to partner with Georgia Tech and Savannah State as well. So now we will hear from our Executive Director and CEO, Ms. Faye DeMassimo. <laughs> See, I get to come up when everybody's starting to get really warm. Um, so I'm gonna try to be um, brief, uncharacteristically so. Um, thank you all for being here today and joining this celebration of another CAT success. The speakers that you have already heard demonstrate an essential ingredient of that success. Everything is about partnerships. At the federal level, with our senators and congressmen, with USDOT, FTA, and FHWA, with our state senators and representatives in our delegation, with GDOT and the Chatham County, um, the, with Chatham County, Chairman Ellis and the County Commission, and the city of Savannah with Mayor Johnson and the city council. With Chatham County Savannah Metropolitan Planning Commission and MPO, with community and business organizations, as well as Georgia Tech and Savannah State, we're incredibly proud of our ATU local 1324 professional operators and our incredible CAP board members. All of these are partnerships that are the path to our future. CAT is in the latter months of our master transit plan, aimed at the future of serving all of our community and beginning with fix it first for our bus services, shelter and stop infrastructure and ferries, docks and ramps, 
as well as needed maintenance infrastructure. Microtransit is an important approach to our current and future bus services that will enable us to better that service, fix it first, improve reliability and choice, and expand our equity reach throughout the community. The focus areas of our SMART grant will enable us to prototype microtransit within a larger zonal area lacking a strong bus network in West Chatham County, but very close to all of the emerging economic activity and jobs creation that's happening all around us, and in areas that's currently not a good fit for expanding traditional fixed route. This microtransit prototype will be especially focused on connecting Chatham residents to the growing jobs and economic growth and to Justice 40 commitments in disadvantaged areas. In addition, and this is something we're also incredibly proud of, within that larger zonal area, we will also be exploring the opportunity for a focused zero fare microtransit expansion connecting residents residing in the city's tiny house project to their destinations. Very important. Um, three important features of this project include the use of EV microtransit vehicles, furthering our sustainability commitment, and you can see one right behind me the partnerships with Georgia Tech and Savannah State and with our ATU professional operators in providing the service. Every day is a great day to be in Chatham County and the city of Savannah. Please join us not only though in today's celebration, but in being cat proud every single day, all day long. For our critical transportation network services, supporting jobs, education, and access to the places that you need and want to go. Thank you for joining us and thank you for being a part of the success. Thank you, Mr. Massimo. Now we will have Victor Collin with Chatham Area Transit to translate portions of the press conference. Buenas tardes. Y gracias a todos por estar aquí con K. Agradecemos a nuestro presidente de la Junta de Directores, la Junta de Directores, nuestra directora ejecutiva, el CEO, Faith Di Massimo, nuestros funcionarios estatales y locales, Georgia Tech y Savannah State University, por su apoyo tan necesario, mientras embarcamos en una nueva forma de transporte. Las áreas de enfoque de nuestra subvención SMART es el fortalecimiento de, la, de movilidad y revolución de transporte nos permitirán crear prototipos de microtránsito dentro de una zona arial más grande que carece de una red de autobuses sólida en el área oeste del condado de Chatham y en áreas que no son adecuadas para expandir nuestra ruta fija. Este prototipo de, de microtránsito se centrará en conectar los residentes del condado de Chatham con los crecientes empleos y el crecimiento económico y con los compromisos del programa Justice for en áreas desfavorecidas. Además, dentro de, del zona areal más grande, también exploraremos la oportunidad de una expansión de microtránsito sin tarifa, enfocada en conectar a nuestros veteranos que residen en el proyecto Tiny House de la ciudad de Savannah con sus destinos. Tres características importantes de este proyecto incluyen el uso de vehículos eléctricos, que fomenta nuestro compromiso de sostenibilidad y las, asoci las asociaciones con Georgia Tech, Savannah State y nuestros operadores profesionales del ITU para brindar el servicio. Gracias por acompañarnos. All right, thank you, Victor. Let's give it up for all of our speakers on today and all for yourselves for supporting Chatham Area Transit. We will now open the floor for media questions if you have some. So the phase one is to design the system. It's, it's still a planning prototype concept development level project. There is a phase two to the SMART grant program that will come later um, and we will be eligible for implementation dollars to compete for those at that time. But what we're gonna be doing here, it's not so much about going acquiring the vehicles and that sort of thing, but it's about concepting out the service, testing out the service, both the technology, the vehicle type that we're proposing to use right now, um, and the underlying service and operational characteristics that would deliver it. 
and, and I'll, I'll tell you the other part that's really important in phase one is your partnership development. It's how are you bringing the community together? How, you know, we've been talking about partners all day long today, and now it's about deepening those partnerships and bringing the rest of the community into that partnership in, in order to um, determine how we best move forward. Over the next, um, so we have 15 months um, that we'll be developing this project. So you'll be seeing um, either public events, pop-up events, demonstrations, prototypes, testing, piloting, and all those sorts of things over the next 15 months. And I promise you, we'll be keeping in touch with the media to cover all of that. Has already been awarded it has already been awarded and we are still going through the process with usdot now with the you know the various kinds of submissions that you have to make in order for the funds to be released but as uh mayor johnson mentioned it is a 1.2 million dollar grant and a very unusual grant and and from the perspective that it's 100 percent grant funding So I think, the, I think the thing that's important is, you know, we have our, our uh, master transit plan ongoing right now. And one of the things that we've heard in every community meeting, every focus group, every stakeholder group that we've met with is there is a strong interest in micro transit. And why is that? I think, you know, um, fixed route service, traditional fixed route with paratransit um, is something that communities are familiar with, but everybody's also think about it even before um, COVID and so forth, we were all, there was some change in transport in that sector from, we all use Uber and Lyft. And so that notion of having on demand, customized, be able to go where you want to go, when you need to go there from where you are, um, those are all important things. And we understand that that's the market that we've got to meet to be a very successful public transit system moving forward. So I think that there's already been a good reception to this concept. And this gives us the opportunity to really build on that and to really test out particularly the technology side of this and the community building side of this that's necessary. Yes, just like with all of our services, we are ADA accessible and our paratransit service is specifically for those seniors and those that are differently abled in our community. Thank you for that question though. All right, so we do thank everyone for coming. We want to ask all of our speakers to come up for a group picture.